In this video, I'm going to uh, walk through the syllabus and how I take the syllabus and put that into a uh, task management software so that I can manage my homework. Um, time management, um, particularly as you move up in, in, um, in your education, becomes a critical, more and more critical. Graduate school in particular is designed to inundate you with so much information that you have to do a lot of picking and choosing and, and really do a lot of time management. So um, in order to prepare for that and to be better able to manage that, the first thing I did was take my syllabus and put it into a task management system so that I knew exactly what I what was expected of me in every class and I could manage that throughout the week. Then I, I'm going to show you a system called My Homework. It, I did it online so I could use it on my laptop using a web browser, but I also had it on my phone, on my Android phone, and I also had it on my iPad. And so I always knew what I needed to do from a reading perspective or from a writing perspective, and, and I was never in a situation where I was in surprise because particularly for me, reading is very difficult, and so it takes me a lot longer, and so I have to manage that. So if anything surprises happen, I'm just basically screwed. So here is my syllabus. I'm going to zoom in here. This is my syllabus, and what I've done, I'll show you this in a program called iAnnotate, but what I've done is I have created hyperlinks to every one of the weeks. So I'm going to go to week three here, and you're going to see here that week three, we have our objective, we have a title for it, the dates that um, it applies to, what we're trying to understand, and then the various readings. And you're going to see here that I have readings that are um, like this one happens to be in the university um, library that I have to go get it or in the teacher's um, uh, list of readings. This one happens to be a web page. So I've got one, two, three, this is a YouTube lecture, four, five different readings, one, two, three, four, five, and then I have an assignment and that is to write a three to five page reflection paper on uh, this guy's lecture. Um, so this is the guy's lecture. Uh, so let me show you how I would organize this. Let me show you uh, my homework, which is the name of the application. It's free. Uh, so let me, let me bring that up. So this is the web application. It's called My Homework. And it's at myhomeworkapp.com. And you can see here that you can do iPhone, Android, iPad, Windows 8, Web, and Kindle. And the reason why this is so important is uh, managing these tasks is so critical. So we're going to sign in to my account here. So you can sign in via Facebook as well. Again, this is a free application. You can see here last semester I had two classes, uh, Disabilities in Media and Psychosocial. So I'm going to click on the Psychosocial class. So this is a list of all of the readings and papers and everything I had to do for the entire semester. Starting from the very beginning, read syllabus. Like I am, uh, it, you may think this is anal retentive, but with my particular impairments, I literally have to task everything. And so you can see where I've read syllabus, um, uh, uh, do the course tour, literally every task that was ever asked of me to do, I, um, I put it in here. So let me, let's look at, um, I'm gonna drop down the menu. What you have here is you have a calendar, you have homework, you have classes, you have teachers. So let's go back home. Uh, let's say I wanted to, uh, let's say it was the beginning of the semester and I wanted to add a class. So this is going to be, I can either find a class or add a class manually. Um, I don't, I'm not going to go through find a class. I'm just going to, for the sake of this one, I'm just going to add the class manually. So I know that next semester I'm taking um, 602 um, and it is uh, like intro uh, to, to disability, disabilities. Um, and it starts the 27th and ends, I'm just going to make up a date here, sometime in May. Um, all of my classes are online, so I don't need to put in that information. So I'm just going to save. You can save and add another class or save and uh, go to class times. And then um, you can also add another class. Since my um, classes are online uh, and they don't have a particular class um like we don't meet on Fridays at 8 a.m. or something, uh, then I don't put in, I don't use any of that management here. You can use that, and I would suggest that if you do and you have time management issues that you absolutely look into using that. Um, but uh, I don't because my classes are online. So I'm going to go into this class, and you can see this is a brand new class, so I'm going to need to do 
uh, some basic things. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, I'm going to click that plus button, and I'm going to say read syllabus. And it is, it happens to be for this class. And then it asks me what kind. Is it homework, uh, reading? So most of the ones that I did was either reading, read, paper, or other. Um, so I'm going to put this as reading, and I'm going to give myself a due date to do this by the end of the week. Uh, I did never put in due times, and then sometimes for like papers, I'd put high priority, but generally I'd just leave that um, uh, blank. And then for papers, I would set reminders. For um, for reading, I did not set reminders simply because I always had a ton of reading. So I could always at any moment pick up my iPad and do some reading. So um, that was never... Um, I never set the reminders, but if you're a person who likes to set reminders and likes to be nagged, this is definitely a great way to be nagged. And then any other information. So if this, for example, was a web page, I might put in the web page here. And then I'm going to add another one. So we're going to, let's do another one. So I'm going to open up the syllabus again. Where is my syllabus? So let's add this YouTube. So I'm just going to grab this whole thing. I'm going to copy it. And copy. And come back here. I'm just going to paste it into other information. So what I have here is YouTube Lecture by Paul Lombardo. And I'm just going to copy that portion of that and right there. I'm going to pick the class. It was 602. And the type, I'm going to put other since this is a YouTube video. And then I've got that video down there. And I'm just going to hit, oh, time due date. I want to do this by, let's say, it was, this is the end of the week. Okay, so I'm gonna hit save. So now what I have here is I have read syllabus and I have the lecture of uh, Paul um, Lombardo. And I can uh, order by priority or by type. So here there's all the reading and here's all the other. This is absolutely a critical um, piece uh, to manage my whole process. So on the iPad or I'll show you in this case, um, once I'm done with the task, and I want to mark it complete, I can just come in here, I can do this on the iPad, or I'm just gonna do this on the web page right now, and just mark as complete, and you'll see that it'll drop down, if I refresh the screen, it'll drop down to the bottom, if I click all, I'm sorry, it'll drop down to the bottom as completed, and then I just move on to my next task. So this is a really great, it's a free tool, it's a really great way to keep the entire semester organized. My recommendation to you is to take the entire syllabus, take the several hours to just copy and paste everything in, and get the entire semester organized in one block, and so you know exactly what to do, and there's n there are no surprises.